Whether you're looking to do double kite loops in strong winds, to simply get planing in light winds, or perform a water launch, knowing how to get power from your kite is crucial. In this topic, we'll be discussing the power stroke, when to use it, and also body dragging and how this simple technique can help you in your kite surfing journey. As previously discussed, to get the most power from your kite, you need to dive the kite deep into the wind window's power zone, known as a power stroke, into this area here in our wind window diagram. To perform a power stroke, pull or turn the bar in on one side. The kite will turn depending upon how far you pull in the bar. A small amount will not create a lot of power as we only access the front areas of the wind window. Get a large amount, as per this clip, will dive the kite deep into the power zone, creating the result we need, instant power. When the kite is inverted and nearing the water, you'll need to steer it back up, out of its dive, into the air. The kite will generate power on both the downstroke and the upstroke. On the downstroke, you can pull in on the bar to add more power to the kite, and on the upstroke, push it forward to help the kite fly back up into the sky and not be stalled. We use the power stroke in kiting for many things. The most common are the water start, or trying to generate more power when planing. When planing, you can perform figure eights with the kite by steering it back past 12 o'clock and flying it through more of the wind window's power zone, as per this clip. This is a great technique when requiring more power. To learn how to perform the power stroke with body dragging, place yourself in the water with clear space downwind and perform power strokes to both sides, deep into the power zone with aggressive bar steering. You'll soon be getting pulled fast through the water from side to side. This is a great way to learn power strokes in readiness for your first water start. We also use body dragging in other situations. To get away from the shore and breaking waves when trying to launch, you can body drag out beyond those breaking waves with your board out in front of you to help steer. Simply put your kite at two o'clock and pull in on the bar. You can perform a few small power dives to create more power if required. Naturally, kite control using one hand is required for this technique. Often when learning, you'll crash, leaving your board upwind of you. Learning to body drag back upwind to retrieve your board is invaluable. Let's take a look at that now. Lying in the water, stretch out your arm and straighten out your body in the direction you'd like to go to and steer the kite to two o'clock. Pull in on the bar. Make very small bar movements and when changing direction, do so by bringing the kite directly above you and not through the power zone so you don't get pulled downwind. With your arm stretched out in front of you and your body in alignment, you'll soon be travelling along through the water, upwind. Your board should also be drifting downwind, so you should hope to meet up with it quite quickly. The power stroke and the body drag are two very important techniques to learn and master. Knowing that you can body drag and retrieve your board in deep water brings a certain peace of mind and will keep you safe. 